Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Oil for the Journey. My name is Sunny. We are reading today um, the book of Psalm, chapters 39 through 43, and I'm your journey reader. <laughs> We're following the Bridges for Peace, Ignite the Truth Bible reading plan. Go ahead and sign up. It allows you to read through God's word in one calendar year, and that is so amazing. And so let's go ahead and get started, all right? Father, we are just so grateful for your word. Your word is life. It is a lamp for our feet and a light to our path. God, it guides us. It instructs us. It encourages us. It warns us. It protects us. It gives us insight and wisdom. Lord, it gives us everything we need pertaining to this life that we are currently living god so we know that we are never alone we never have to feel lost but even when we do feel lost there is there are instructions and there are directions um for us to to take heed to so we just thank you for your word god and pray um we thank you that you are meeting us here today in this time as we sit ourselves to just be with you, God, to be with you, and that's it. So thank you for being with us as we are sitting ourselves to be with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Psalms 39. I said to myself, I will watch what I do and not sin in what I say. I will hold my tongue when the ungodly are around me. But as I stood there in silence, not even speaking of good things, the turmoil, the turmoil in me grew worse. The more I thought about it, the hotter I got, igniting a fire of words. Lord, remind me how brief my time on earth will be. Remind me my, that my days are numbered, how fleeting my life is. You have made my life no longer than the width of my hand. My entire lifetime is just a moment to you. At best, each of us is but a breath. We are merely moving shadows and all are busy rushing ends in nothing. We heap up wealth not knowing who will spend it. And so, Lord, where do I put my hope? My only hope is in you. Rescue me from my rebellion. Do not let fools mock me. I am silent before you. I won't say a word. For my punishment is from you. But please stop striking me. I am exhausted by the blows from your hand. When you discipline us for our sins. You consume like a moth what is precious to us. Each of us is but a breath. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Listen to my cries for help. Don't ignore my tears, for I am your guest, a traveler passing through as my ancestors were before me. Leave me alone so I can smile again before I'm gone and exist no more. Psalms 40. I waited patiently for the Lord to help me, and he turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the pit of despair, out of the mud and the mire. He set my feet on solid ground and steadied me as I walked along. He has given me a new song to sing, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see what he has done and be amazed. They will put their trust in the Lord. Oh, the joys of those who trust in the Lord, who have no confidence in the proud or in those who worship idols. Oh, Lord, my God, you have performed many wonders for us. Your plans for us are too numerous to list. You have no equal. If I tried to recite all your wonderful deeds, I would never come to the end of them. You take no delight in sacrifices or offerings. Now that you have made me listen, I finally understand. You don't require burnt offerings or sin offerings. Then I said, look, I have come as I have written about me in the scriptures. 
I take joy in doing your will, my God, for your instructions are written on my heart. I've told all your people about your justice. I have not been afraid to speak out, <clears throat> as you, O oh Lord, well know. I have not kept the good news of your justice hidden in my heart. I have talked about your faithfulness and saving power. I have told everyone in the great assembly of your unfailing love and faithfulness. Lord, don't hold back your tender mercies from me. Let your unfailing love and faithfulness always protect me. For troubles surround me, too many to count. My sins pile up so high I can't see my way out. They outnumber the hairs on my head. I have lost all courage. Please, Lord, rescue me. Come quickly, Lord, and help me. May those who try to destroy me be humiliated and put to shame. May those who take delight in my trouble be turned back in disgrace. Let them be horrified by their shame. For they said, aha, you've got him now. But may all who search for you be filled with joy and gladness in you. May those who love your salvation repeatedly shout, the Lord is great. As for me, since I am poor and needy, let the Lord keep me in his thoughts. You are my helper and my savior. Oh my God, do not delay. Psalms 41. Oh, the joys of those who are kind to the poor. The Lord rescues them when they are in trouble. The Lord protects them and keeps them alive. He gives them prosperity in the land and rescues them from their enemies. The Lord nurses them when they are sick and restores them to health. Oh Lord, I prayed, have mercy on me, heal me for I have sinned against you. But my enemies say nothing but evil about me. How soon will he die and be forgotten, they ask. They visit me as if they were my friends, <laughs> but all the while they gather gossip. And when they leave, they spread it everywhere. All who hate me whisper about me, imagining the worst. He has some fatal disease, they say. He will never get out of that bed. Even my best friend, the one I trusted completely, the one who shared my food has turned against me. Lord, have mercy on me. Make me well again so I can pay them back. I know you are pleased with me for you have not let my enemies triumph over me. You have preserved my life because I am innocent. You have brought me into your presence forever. Praise the Lord, the God of Israel, who lives from everlasting to everlasting. Amen and amen. Psalms 42. As the deer longs for streams of water, so I long for you, O God. I thirst for God, the living God. Where can I go and stand before him? Day and night, I have only tears for food while my enemies continually taunt me, saying, where is this God of yours? My heart is breaking as I remember how it used to be. I walked among the crowds of worshipers, leading a great procession in the house of God, singing for joy and giving thanks amid the sound of a great celebration. Why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will put my hope in God. I will praise him again, my savior and my God. Now I am deeply discouraged, but I will remember you even from distant Mount Hermon, the source of the Jordan, <laughs> from the land of Mount Mazar. I hear the tumult of the raging seas as your waves and surging tides sweep over me. But each day the Lord pours his unfailing love upon me. And through each night I sing his songs, praying to God who gives me life. Oh God, my rock, I cry. Why have you forgotten me? Why must I wander around in grief 
oppressed by my enemies. Their taunts break my bones, they scoff. Where is this God of yours? Why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will put my hope in God. I will praise him again, my savior and my God. Psalm 43. Declare me innocent, O God. Defend me against these ungodly people. Rescue me from these unjust liars. For you are God, my only safe haven. Why have you tossed me aside? Why must I wander around in grief, oppressed by my enemies? Send out your light and your truth. Let them guide me. Let them lead me to your holy mountain, to the place where you live. There I will go to the altar of God, to God, the source of all my joy. I will praise you with my harp, O oh God, my God. Why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will put my hope in God. I will praise him again, my Savior and my God. Father, we are thankful that when we are discouraged, when we do feel sad, God, that we can put our hope in you. We may not fully understand it, but you are present. You are here and we can put our hope in you because you are our savior. You are our God and we trust in you, Lord. I thank you that your children will trust in you, that they will wait for you, God, that they will hope in you, Lord, for you have never failed and you never will because your love never fails. Because you are love, you never fail. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for every person who is taking a risk and trusting you with everything, not leaning to their own understanding, but in all their ways, acknowledging you, God. And you said you would make our paths straight. God bless your day every day. Be encouraged that he is with you. He hears you and you can put your hope and your trust in him. You can put everything. You can bet everything, every, every, everything on him. He will not fail. God bless your day. Love you guys. Thanks for reading with us.